Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. It's your daily portion of Russian accent and like experimenting with different kind of strange operating systems and I don't know just trying different kind of uh, geek stuff. And today we're actually gonna be trying to install Ubuntu on Apple Silicon M1 computer which I have right here. I actually bought it a few days ago and while I was skeptical about this platform the more I use it uh, actually the more I like it. Although there are some some problems I found for example like Docker doesn't work, some applications not really working properly like steam is not really working properly in some ways but actually gonna shut a different video about that today we're gonna install ubuntu on um, parallels so parallels is a solution for installing virtual machines on your computer before i used virtual box and it seems like virtual box guys doesn't seem like it's ever gonna make to the m1 platform as of now i'm not sure like maybe in the future is gonna change but vmware and parallels is gonna be the solutions but vmware is still working on solutions so i don't know parallels is probably the main solution right now and also the qemu QMU is the one other solution which I don't really like because it's not super stable but it's more geeky and we actually gonna try it uh, I think as well right now I'm looking at the parallels desktop application and this is like the list of virtual machines available for launching this is says Debian arm we need to press plus and let's actually add a new virtual machine right here this is about max with m1 chips or blah 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 we already know that this is basically like a beta version and uh, it's actually found right here it already found like the Vim image that's nice so okay so, so Ubuntu Linux it found an external uh, drive I have let's actually go ahead and install this one uh, continue I'd like to access to your contacts no I don't want to parallel to access my contacts don't allow express installation what is that express I don't want express installation <laughs> Dimitri I don't like those express installations by the way I don't know it's gonna install something but it doesn't even explain what it's actually gonna install so I don't like those kind of installations continue I want to save it an external hard drive actually 5 GB of space will be used that's okay because my settings before installation yes i want to customize settings all right creating uh all right so it's creating this about the Linux configuration what kind of size is going to allocate to my hard drive like one and one mb those are the options i can customize later so that doesn't even matter hardware all right so two gb of ram fine just for launching i don't know but actually i'm gonna change it of course it's not enough hypervisor apple okay apple and products okay let's leave it to apple actually it's interesting so you can actually change the hypervisor like the engine behind the scenes that actually executes the virtual machine i think it's apple by default but we can change it to parallels if we want so security backup no i don't need any backup here okay disk space 68 gigabytes okay that sounds good and it's actually probably not going to be allocated like in as a one one piece is probably going to be allocated on a specific chunk used for installation and then it's going to be allocated as needed so i don't, I don't think it's actually going to be 68 gigabytes allocated right away continue uh, what uh disconnect the volume yeah i mean i got it i should not disconnect the volume try ubuntu before installing yeah let's actually try it before if it's actually worth installing if it doesn't even run okay checking discs what kind of disk is actually checking there's nothing installed you're probably just checking the image disk i mean guys honestly parallels i have not used parallels that much before i'm just using it right now so far so good i like the like how intuitive it is it's actually more intuitive for what i saw with uh, vmware fusion vmware fusion has some confusions didn't sound that right but parallel seems to be nice and virtual box while it's actually a free solution i mean i never found that virtual box is like really stable i've always found some problems with virtual box i don't know how about you what's your experience with virtual box but my experience with virtual box was not that great i would say yeah it seems to be kind of snappy it's nice uh everything seems to be working i guess yeah uh let's actually go ahead and install it like without wasting any more time let's go ahead and install it release notes i mean who even reads that nobody um english continue um normal installation and minimal installation uh, download updates install third-party software yes uh, and download updates seems like a fine solution continue erase disk and install ubuntu what about advanced settings use lvm and experimental erase disks use the zfs no I, I guess let's actually do like install it on the whole disk because it's a virtual machine guys yes format everything Thing. looks a bit nicer than compared to Debian installation but Debian installation have much more customization for example I was able to customize which desktop environment I can set like KDE, GNOME or Cinnamon even more options there so yeah I mean the installation of Debian was kind of nice but this one is like very nice kind of intuitive all right your name Medic Dimitri what a name uh, at least let's just rename it like this uh, let's type some password here 
Uh, I'm just gonna do the simple password and then continue. Fast and full of new features, the latest version of Ubuntu computing easier than ever. Here are just a few cool things to look out for. It, guys, this is just like Windows 98 kind of installation, just like promotes stuff. Ubuntu is of course like, um, it already feels like a bit clunky, like Windows is something in that sense because it just like promotes you, like it just pushes stuff right here. Let's just wait and see, once it's finished, we'll just continue. By the way guys, what do you think about this store uh, that Ubuntu promotes, like do you actually like it? Because the UI wise i mean every time i open this ubuntu store or even like any store from any linux distribution it seems like so clunky i don't know for example they have reviews for the applications right and those reviews are like mixed and that sense that there are like multiple languages and, like it doesn't take into account what kind of language your system uses and it just like shows whatever like reviews people left like in spanish english french like russian whatever just all mixed up in one place some applications have icons some applications don't have icons some have screenshots some like have no screenshots and everybody's like oh all right all right that seems fine i mean i will probably just use the, the command line and use sudo apt get or snap or any like app image or any kind of installation medium for the applications instead of instead of using the uh, this store honestly this store is and sometimes the store even has like old version of applications not even updated so that's that's why i'm like super confused with the store maybe they have improved something with this release of ubuntu so let's see All right, guys, so the installation is complete. I'm rebooting right now and let's see how that all works. Please remove installation media. Okay, please escape for boot options error. No suitable video mode found. Why? Okay, it's loading. All right, and we're booted. It's all good. Here it is. Ubuntu Linux installed on Apple Silicon M1 Mac, MacBook Air actually, running on 2 GB of RAM allocated for this virtual machine. And let's see, no, do not send system info, and no location source that I needed, ready to go done and here it is all good and running and let's see so far so good i guess <laughs> it kind of works fine snappy nice i don't see any problems so far terminal mc of course midnight commander yes install it and here it is guys all works so this is just like my typical test <laughs> when it comes to like running anything like on linux environment just first i install the midnight commander and then i see how it works so if it passes that test i, I guess it's it's mostly working so how about we type your name r8 and it also says this is uh, arm 64 right how about we try to install docker here so the up get install docker docker vim docker yeah i mean let's see how it actually works docker okay ah okay so what it actually installed it doesn't it didn't even install anything uh what was that what was that oh i guess it's called sudo apt install docker.io i forgot yes now it seems to be fine 300 megabytes of initial space will be used yes if you have some problems using docker i guess you can use it on a in a virtual machine instance like ubuntu or debian it seems to be installing just fine all right docker is installed Okay, seems to be fine. Docker PS type sudo docker ps yep no containers are running right now this is working fine guys and ubuntu seems to be working okay actually let's try to open the software repository i like all this visual stuff of ubuntu but sometimes i don't really need it i mean it's just spinning spinning okay software catalog is being downloaded okay it's gonna probably take a while to download the software catalog that seems good yep it started music and video typically I installed vlc and all those players but hey like come on up and up what is that how about this hmm apple apple music what is that is it actually available for linux what is that just a shortcut <laughs> Yeah, it is, that's what I'm saying, like some applications like Apple Music, like it's actually provided from Apple, like by Apple, but it seems like it's just a shortcut, like if, if you take a look at the screenshot, it's just a shortcut, and that's what actually it indicates in those comments right here. Perfect, it just works smoothly with your Apple subscription, right? But this just opens the Apple website, I guess. I mean, anybody can write simple web apps and uh, publish it. So many apps like this, I don't know, for example, this one, we open it, what is that? Like this, you open it and you don't even know what exactly it is. It just like provides you some information. What language even it is? Is it uh, Arabic or something? Like, what is that? What I'm actually getting into, like, what is that? Spotify to UI and it, it's appears like what is that it's disable spotify icon or something and looking at reviews doesn't work without phone didn't work works fine awesome and then you just get confused like how exactly it works because all those app stores and linux are not really polished and all that i mean not all of them but it's that's what i'm seeing like when, what do you want for free otherwise i just love ubuntu i just like linux distros based on ubuntu as well and it seems to be running fine even like graphical stuff right seems to be working okay all right let's actually open the firefox and see how it opens the youtube let's say youtube 
the playback is an important one. And the playback seems to be fine, guys. It seems to be all good. I don't see any problems with that. Seems to be so far so good. And how about the memory usage? Like comparing to Debian, it seems to be slower. So let's see actually what it has installed. Top. Yeah, the memory usage seems to be actually like twice as much as what was used in Debian, like twice as much, guys. Ubuntu uses much more resources, but I guess you can disable stuff here and see how it works. But for me, Debian seems to be like working okay. I just wanted to show you how Ubuntu is running on uh, Apple Silicon M1 chip and how parallels operates and just like, it all seems to be fine. It seems to be like we are ready to use it like full time. There may be some things that we need to improve, fix, but otherwise it seems to be working fine. So yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for more. I'm actually experimenting with running the PowerPC Mac OS like 10.4, 10.3 or something on the Apple M1 chips or maybe like Mac OS 9 even. Just experimenting like to see how it works. Had some problems. I was not successful in running those, but it seems to be like really interesting to actually. This platform is like a beta platform, right? You never know what can happen here. So that's why like some applications are crashing, some things are not working right. I just love using this cutting edge stuff. So for me, it's, it's all good. I'm going to try it more. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and bye.